Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. Today, Trek have announced that Season 3 teasers will be coming sometime later this week. So, for those expecting teasers today, we haven't seen anything just yet. I do think that one of the teasers is probably going to be the leaked outro cutscene for Season 2 between Hudson and Wolf as they set course to head to Verdansk in 1984 to rescue Adler, who was was kidnapped by Stitch in a Season 1's outro cutscene. And Stitch baited them by leading them on a wild goose chase with the Nova 6 when he wasn't actually interested in it. But yeah, there's a good possibility that since Hudson is going to be featured in this outro cutscene for Season 2, teasing Season 3, that Hudson may be added as an operator. He obviously already is an announcer, but I think we could definitely see him as a playable character as well. So what teasers do you think are going to be coming this week for Season 3? I'm hoping that we see some Outbreak Easter Egg teasers, as as you guys know, one of the big things coming in Season 3 is the Outbreak Easter Egg. If the Berlin Zombies map, the next main Zombies map, is going to be coming in Season 3 Reloaded as well, then hopefully we see some teasers for that, but I have a feeling like we might not. Maybe that's not even going to be until Season 4, to be honest. We will just have to wait and see. I'm expecting us to see some teasers for another Outbreak slash Fireteam map as well, because there's probably going to be another one introduced with with the Easter egg. I'm guessing it'll be an outbreak first and then added into Fireteam later on in the season. And we'll probably see at least one new objective added into Outbreak as well. Hopefully we see some side objectives too. I do hope that we get some information this week about what maps, operators, and also weapons are going to be coming. And I will be sure to cover anything that we find out here on the channel. According to Vanguard on Twitter, there will be a new melee weapon coming at some point to Black Ops Cold War called the Garrett. Apparently this is the same melee model used in the tight rope execution, so I'm wondering if this is going to be one of the melee weapons available in Season 3, or maybe it's going to be coming later in Season 4. If you've watched my prior videos, there's already been quite a few weapons leaked for Season 3. We don't know the exact weapons, but we kind of have an idea of what they are. For those interested in the Season 3 update download size, it appears as though it's going to be around 12.344 gigabytes on PlayStation, bringing the total game size to 136.239 gigabytes. This is according to PlayStation size over on Twitter, and there is a possibility that this is slightly off. This is just according to PlayStation's database, but that should be the general size. So it's around the same size of season two, I believe, and it will be sure to keep you updated when pre-downloads go live. And an update on something that I discussed in my prior video, various different data miners on on Twitter had been claiming that they had found evidence in the files of the game that suggests that the Warzone nuke event is going to be split into two parts and maybe the second part won't actually be until season 4, meaning that the new 1984 Verdansk map might not be introduced until season 4. But like I talked about in that video, everything that is data mined is very easily misinterpreted and that is why we have to take it with a grain of salt. Well something else I want to point out is there is a very big possibility that the coding that they found in the files that references Warzone Reveal S4 aka Season 4 might actually be referencing to Call of Duty 2021 aka World War 2 Vanguard developed by Sledgehammer Games, which they are likely to reveal inside of Warzone again. So what if the strings that they found in the files aren't actually referencing the second part of the nuke event, but rather Season 4 may be when World War 2 Vanguard is revealed as a live event inside of Warzone, similar to to the Know Your History reveal for Black Ops Cold War. Basically within the files, it seems like the nuke event will be split into two parts, but it's more likely that it will both be on the same day, on the 21st of April, as Season 3 is scheduled to release on the 22nd of April. And apparently the first part is going to be this plague event or mode, where we're going to nuke the map and exfil, and you will then be rewarded with a special calling card showing Verdansk destroys and on fire after it has been nuked. Apparently there is going to be a second part to this event, which is going to be 15 minutes after the destruction of the dance, titled The End. That is what this playlist is going to be called. And that's probably going to be 15 minutes after the initial plague event. That's how it's looking right now, judging from the files of the game that people have been posting on Twitter. So there is a possibility that we might not have to wait until season four for the new map. After all, it seems more likely that it 
will be introduced with Season 3, and maybe the World War 2 Vanguard reveal is going to be in Season 4. Infinity Ward announced that the two multiplayer maps in Modern Warfare, the Alrab Airbase 6v6 map and the Drainage Gunfight map that were previously accessible in a private match with the Season 2 Reloaded update, but were then removed, are going to be returning to the game sometime soon. Apparently, they need further tuning and they weren't ready to release, and that is why they were removed. So, right now we obviously have the new map Kill House, the remaster, and we still have no word on when the new weapons are going to be coming to the game. The CX-9 SMG, the Rowl LMG, and also the Makarov Pistol. But they should all be coming fairly soon, I would assume, at least around the time of Season 3, with the potential release of the new 1980s Verdansk. And the same goes for the Soap, as well as the Sparks Operator Bundles, especially because the Sparks Operator Bundle has been showing up accidentally in people's games if they turn their time forward over on PC. So, it is very likely that the majority of this content is probably going to release sporadically over the next month or two. The Hellscream Mastercraft Bundle released a Black Ops Cold War and Warzone today if you want to check it out. It is really, really cool. It's still very pricey though. I think all of the bundles are, but I guess if you have the money to splash, you can do so. By the way, for those interested in Warzone, it seems like the zombies are going to be moving to the dam next. As you guys know, over the past week when they were supposed to move to Superstore, initially they were accidentally showing up in the dam and it was quickly fixed via a hotfix. So that is the next location. And we know this because Call of Duty did send out this email today. And in the Italian version, it says Aladiga, which translates to to dam. So yes, the zombies are going to be moving to the dam next. But we can see this is on a piece of tissue from a Burger Town burger. And there's a bunch of ketchup or maybe even blood as well. Saying came looking for supplies, they arrived. Some burst into flames, took refuge in food court, then others started releasing gas. Lost appetite, running out of options, will find highest ground at, and then you can't really see what that says. But you can see that the order is 421, which seems to be suggesting that this nuke event, where we're going to nuke the map to get rid of the zombies, the plague event per se, is going to be happening on the 21st of April, since season 3 is scheduled to release on the 21st slash the 22nd of April, depending on which time zone you're in, based off of the season 2 battle pass end date. And it does appear as though some of the nuclear missiles are probably going to hit Burger Town, like we've seen in some people's gameplay. According to Call of Duty Hope, we will see some sort of a season 3 trailer or cutscene during the nuke event in Warzone, so be on the lookout for that. By the way, double XP, double weapon XP, and a double battle pass XP will be live in Black Ops Cold War as well as Warzone on Friday, April the 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time until Monday, April 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. So that's going to give you an incentive to hop on right before Season 3 begins to finish up with the Battle Pass and if you want to level up and stuff like that. And to conclude this video, Raven Software have announced on Twitter that they've apparently banned 30,000 more accounts inside of Warzone. It seems like the account bans are becoming a lot more regular. They're announcing new bans every single week. I know the hacking problem is still a big issue, but it does seem like they're at least doing a somewhat better job than they used to, albeit it's still not perfect. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.